In 2014, while admitting personal admiration for the original, Steven Soderbergh offered an edit of his own of Michael Cimino's infamous epic, Heaven's Gate. Soderbergh's edit had a significantly shorter runtime versus the original. That is why, in this video, I will compare the two respective versions for the purpose of analyzing their depiction of the film's core elements. Okay, so, in Cimino's version, we meet Jim, the clean-shaven protagonist, in this opening 20-minute long scene. This scene establishes the background of the character and his well-bred intellectual origins, before plunging him to the movie's main timeline some 20 years later. This is the point in time at which Soderbergh introduces us to Jim in his version. He doesn't show the opening ceremony, instead introducing him as a more rough-looking man, stepping off the train to witness a township meeting where he objects to the proposed treatment of the immigrants. Find legal warrant for every name on that death list. Stay out of my county. Soderbergh thus establishes the noble nature of Jim and simultaneously kicks off the main storyline, and all that in the first five minutes. Both versions are clear about the central theme of the film, but different in their approach. Cimino is interested in showing the full scope of the immigrants' experience, through disheartening scenes of their hardships and savage treatment at the hands of the authorities. Go back to where you came from! But also their inner discords and conflicts, even when preparing to rally against the enemy. Soderbergh cuts all of this. At the cost of emotional impact and added realism, Soderbergh goes for a more black and white depiction of the conflict. The merciless and radical tyrants on one side, and the united rebellious crowd on the other. The result? Cimino's version covers more emotional ground and a broader historical scope but undoubtedly pays the price of losing the general audience's attention with repetition and length. On the other hand, Soderbergh focuses more on the central conflict and plot, increasing the accessibility of the material, but decreasing the film's overall impact and epic scale. Cimino's version is chronologically linear. It begins here. That the Constitution of American society cuts to the main timeline here. And then here. Where the elderly, disillusioned Jim is spending his later years accompanied by his college sweetheart thousands of miles away from his past. One can speculate that this kind of an arc leaves the viewer with an impression of a tragic personal journey, identifying the arc of the story with the arc of the Jim character. Soderbergh's cut is not linear. It throws us immediately into the central conflict, at times only stopping to give us hints about Jim's past. Maybe a friend, Billy, you're the only son of a bitch I ever knew worth getting seriously drunk with. Some curious knowledge of history. Romans used them something like 2,000 years ago. I'm trained just about like this. But nothing factual. The viewer assembles his or her own background of the character. He also gives us a more open ending of the Wyoming timeline. And then ends with a jump back in time. A generation of promising men preparing to set off into the world with hopes of making it a better place. This way, after everything he's shown us prior to this point, Soderbergh strikes a bittersweet note one that arguably has less to do with Jim as an individual and more with an entire period in American history. Having in mind the length and richness of both versions, and especially of the original one, 
This video was in no way intended to provide a comprehensive comparison between the two cuts. Instead, the focus was placed on their effective differences, based on what their authors chose for us to see and when. It was also the purpose of this video to look back at Heaven's Gate and its role. On average, hated and criticized much more than revered, but indisputably important in the context of the history of American and world cinema.